Yo, 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 it's D. Arthur in the building coming at you with a very important message about why the elites want you to ejaculate any chance you get. They want you to be, the elites want you to ejaculate because they want you to be, they want you <coughs> to conform. The elites want you to ejaculate because they realize that if you hold in your single fluid, you can literally live your best life ever. You're going to be, you're going to be high off life they realize that they, they realize that the single fluid has nutrients vitamins minerals things you really need for your well-being and the more you let go of it the more you're gonna you're gonna depend on other kind of stimulants maybe you're gonna depend on prescription drugs you're gonna depend on other medications for you you can the, the body can naturally heal itself that's what the body was really made to do. And the best way to enhance this is to just live a high vibrational life. Eat rich, enhancing foods. But, I mean, the elites, the elites want you to ejaculate. They just want you to let go of every, all the essence that you have, your, your vital energy force, and let it go. And the more you do this, I mean, you're just going to be normal. You're going to be mundane. You're probably going to complain, and you're not, and you're not really going to live in a high vibration life is literally all about living in a higher vibration because the the more you can stay in a higher vibration the easier things that the one the easier you are returning to your authentic self <laughs> and two the easier things can come come faster to you but if you're always in a negative mood you're always in a negative mindset the things that you truly want there's going to be a lot of resistance and it's going to be harder for it to come into your physical reality so so you have to get to the point where you just feel very good and signal attention is the foundation of just feeling very good the better you feel the more you feel the better you just feel all around the more you're allowing better thoughts to entertain the more you can really capitalize on the things that you really want to do the more the, the more you can actually become the person that you said you were going to be five years ago but i mean if you're consistently partaking in the worst habits you're consistently on pm or you're consistently just doing things that are not not priority for your well-being you're going to be dependent you're going to be a lazy loser this is the bottom line it's about being a winner instead of a, a loser and I mean, if you keep if you keep relapsing, your mindset is never going to change. Um, your mindset is always going to stay the same. You're always going to need the pen. You're going to have you're going to have a victim mentality, and your and your habits are not going to be aligned with the person that you really want to become. So I mean, you can take it for what it is. Semen retention is not a joke. You have these red pill content creators who say, "When so," he's like, they're saying that you use it as an excuse. They literally say like you, you use semen retention as an excuse as to why you can't you can't pull any. And to be honest, anybody who comes from this mindset is is shallow. And he's putting the he's putting the V box on a pedestal because you have to start realizing that. I mean, it's a it's a it's a four for most guys, for a lot of guys, it's like a four four to five minute transaction and then boom, you let it go and now you're feeling normal. And now what's on the other side of you having of you having um, intercourse with her, nothing. There's there's nothing really on the other side. I mean, you might feel, you might feel a little bit elated, but you're gonna come down from it. And the thing is, like people just think that they just put the V box on a pedestal, and they're never really they're never really all in into their life. Like the best thing for you to do, the best thing for us to do is live in the higher vibration. And then when we finally meet someone that we're actually we're we're hundred percent into. I mean, then you can you can do whatever you want, but I mean, if you're consistently just doing that 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 one night stand type of thing, I mean, you're never really gonna get anywhere. You're truly never really gonna get anywhere because th that's not what the the body was made for. The, every time you ha you 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 do the, um you become that vulnerable around multiple people, it just it's not going to work out as much. You have to start developing relationships. The point is developing relationships. How how good is your communication skills so you can actually develop relationships? The elites want you to ejaculate every every chance you get. 
because because then you can't raise your consciousness then you can't raise your vibration then you can't raise your belief system um then you're gonna have to depend on on other things to make you feel whole so i mean the best thing to do is do what the do the opposite of what the elites want you to do you gotta retain you gotta meditate you gotta hit the gym you gotta eat good foods you gotta you gotta pray you gotta read a soul development book so you have to be on your self-improvement you have to be on your purpose and then eventually when you're when the time is right you're gonna attract the better things in, in your life <laughs> like the thing is if you if you weren't on order because i was on retention for a while and the thing is like the thing is like if you keep retaining eventually you're gonna get the better things in life eventually you're gonna become the person you want to be eventually things are gonna finally work out eventually you're going to be in the higher vibration that you want to be but if you're always if you're always relapsing it's just not going to work out as much you're always going you're going to start from zero instead of starting and sort of continuing you're always your your life is going to be a revolving door instead of an escalator going up so i mean you make the decision you either retain you get the gains you get the life that you actually want or you keep relapsing and you, you keep going back to normal you keep overthinking because seeming retention really does have, is an indicator on your behavior and your mood. The more you retain, the more you retain, the better, the more actions you're going to take, the, the more of an action taker you're going to become. But if you keep relapsing, your behaviors are going to change. You want to stay in. You're not going to express yourself. You're not going to be, you're not going to be the person that you really want to be. So it's up to you. It really is up to you. What do you What do you want from life? What are your priorities? Because people, we know people's priorities. Pri their priorities follow their actions. Whatever you, whatever you actually really want is what you're going to con continually do on a consistent basis. If they're always just doing things that are not going to serve their their well being, they they have bad priorities. You have to have good priorities, and you have to make your decisions based off your inner peace and your and the priorities that you have in life. But everybody wants to be distracted. There's a lot of distractions going on. They never, they're never really hitting the bigger picture. They're never really hitting the bigger picture. They never really go in their room, go into deep depths of their mind and see what they really want and then act on it. People are easily distracted. People don't have any purpose. People are drifters. But you can be the top 1% who's a non-drifter, a person who's going places, a person who has things that he has to figure out, a person who's doing things differently, a person who's whose habits are aligned with with the life that he actually wants. A person who has good social status, a, good, a person who has good social game, a person who's not boring. Because the thing is, people talk about overtension. Oh, you can be silent in a room, silence speaks volumes. And it really, is, it, is that really the case? Because at some point you really have to speak up. At some point you have to make other people in the room feel comfortable because the more comfortable, it's called empathy. The more comfortable you can you can let other people around you become, the more authentic they'll be. But I mean, if you're not doing that, if you're not making them feel comfortable, they have no choice but to give you 50% of their true self. You want you want people to become the highest, the best version around you. The way you can impact others by becoming the best version of yourself, and then you impact others, and now it's a compound effect. And then and then and then the world lives it's in lives in a higher vibration. But there's too much, there's too much mediocrity going on. Um, bad habits, people who are not intentional, people who are who are living lives of meaningless things, and people who haven't, who never really found out about who they are or what they what they truly value. It's about what you truly value, and then acting on that consistently over a period of time. And this is how you really become great. But the word greatness isn't even set in people's consciousness. They want to get by. They want to so, so survive. They don't want to thrive. They want to survive. I mean, if you want to survive, I mean, yes, we're all meant to survive. But at some point, we have to get the training wheels off and thrive. We have to thrive. This is the only way to lift our vibration and become our best versions. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.